What's up, YouTube? It's Darian. I'm back with Darian the Dev. I know I've been gone for a minute, guys. I'm sorry. As you can see, we've been doing some stuff around the house. Got a couch in here now. If you guys go back to my old videos, you'll probably remember there was like nothing in here. I was sitting right here at this table doing all the videos, man. Um, and so I'm like three months into my job now and just been learning stuff and I'm trying to keep the quality of the videos good so I wanted to just kind of show you guys what's been going on really quick um, and kind of talk about some of the stuff that I've been doing before we jump into this video right here all right so first things first let me show you guys these cool LED lights that I got off of Amazon um, yo they literally only cost 30 bucks let me show you guys real quick and so right now i've got them changing colors on a slow fade which i love i love these lights they can like you have this little remote and you can literally you know change the color to any of these colors right here and uh you can just you know change the vibe up man i love it so yeah 30 bucks on amazon i'll leave the link down below for you guys if you want to check those out Next up, I uh, grabbed a TV, a 43-inch. I'm not going to really show you guys that because it's like you guys know what a 43-inch TV looks like. And then, finally, the couch. So, we're going to be doing videos here now. And there will be a little bit more personality in the background instead of just a blank wall. I'm trying to start adding some more flavor to the videos. But anyways, guys, let's, I'm gonna put the camera on the tripod, I'm gonna get set up, and we're gonna jump right into this video, all right? So this code right here that I have is just pretty much HTML. Um, there is a CSS file, but um, I'm gonna save you guys a lot of time. I'll leave the link to my github where all this code will be So I'll leave this code over there for you guys Just go and copy and paste the in uh, the HTML and the CSS. We won't spend a whole bunch of time um, Talking about that in this video. I really was just want to focus on the JavaScript aspect So once you grab that code and you spin it up in your editor and open it in the browser This is what we should have right here so we have a simple background. We have a simple input field here um, with with HTML, and we're only accepting numbers um, right now. So you guys can take this project and just do with it whatever you want. You can change these currencies into any currency in the world. I will show you guys how you can do it. It is so simple, so easy. It's gonna take one line of code, and I will show you exactly how to do that. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and jump over into Visual Studio Code. So go to our index. And, and, my bad, guys. My bad. My bad. It's early in the morning. I've been away for a minute. I gotta get. I gotta get juices flowing. I gotta get back into it. All right. All right. So we're gonna jump over here into Visual Studio Code, and uh, we're gonna go to the very end of the index.html file, and we are going to create a script tag. All right. And so this is where we're gonna put all of our JavaScript now. Uh, if you guys see me looking over here, it's because I'm referencing the code um, on a different, on my work laptop, so I can actually see it. So I'm not like programming this off just memory, guys, uh, for anybody who thinks that if I'm looking over here, that's what I'm looking at, all right? So go ahead and create your script tag. And uh, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna target um, the input where the user is gonna be putting in the, the US dollar value, and so, uh, up here in our HTML, we call that money converter. Um, oh, no, no, no. All right. So, yeah, we want to target the input where the user is going to be entering the US dollar amount. We want to get that value. So, uh, up here in our HTML, we have this form. And we gave the form uh, an input type of numbers, so that's why we can only enter numbers. And then uh, we have an ID over here of money input. So we're gonna use that ID to grab that value. So we're gonna say document dot get element by ID. 
and we're gonna grab money input. And we need to attach an, uh, an event listener onto it so that it knows when we wanna grab it. So this is part of how we can use JavaScript to make uh, the conversions happen on the screen without the page reloading. So we're gonna just say, uh, we're gonna add an event listener of input. So as they're typing anything into this field, um, that's when this next function is gonna take place. So we're gonna say function E and we're gonna declare some variables. So the first one is gonna be, we're gonna say uh, USD amount, because this is gonna be what the user is typing in, in US dollars. So we're gonna say document.getElementById and we're gonna say money input again. And this time we're gonna say dot value. So that is gonna grab the value of what our user is putting in, into that, what they're typing into that field. So whatever number they're typing in, our, uh, our app is gonna know that that is a US dollar amount value. And we're gonna call it USD amount. So next, uh, this is where you guys can get creative if you want. You can add as many currencies as you want. I'm gonna do the three that you guys just saw. So I'm gonna say um, variable, and we're gonna say USD to peso. Because again, I'm gonna stick with the three I have, but you guys can use any currency that you want. So all we need to do here is take the US dollar amount. So use our variable uh, USD amount and multiply that by whatever the conversion rate is for that currency. So all you need to do is go over to Google, type in USD to peso conversion rate and whatever that is, you're just gonna multiply that times the US dollar amount. So in this case of pesos at the time when I coded this, of course, currency rates are currency or exchange rates change, but um, you know, whatever, it still applies. You guys can just look it up and just do it. But at this time, um, the exchange rate for pesos with American dollars was 19.42. All right, and then the next one, we're gonna say USD to Euro. And we're gonna take the US dollar amount times 0 0.891407. All right. And then the last one's gonna be Rupee. So we say USD to Rupee equals USD amount times 69.38. All right, cool. So now in theory, we should be able to get the input of our, we should be able to get the input of what our users are putting in and we should be able to, um, use these simple variables to do some calculations that we have right here and then spit it back out onto the screen which is the only thing we need to do now so now we have these uh these variables and now we just need to show these values back on the screen so we're going to say let usd equal e which is our function dot target dot value and then we're going to say document dot get element by id and we're gonna target those three divs where I have peso, uh, peso, euro, and rupee. We're gonna target those three divs and we're gonna place the, the calculation or the result of the calculation into those divs. So all we need to do is go back up to, to the JavaScript and you can see that we have peso output here, which is a div, the ID, euro output here, which is just an ID for another div and then we have rupee output here. So we're gonna use those three names here and we're gonna target those. So we're gonna say pesos output and we're gonna to have to say enter HTML dot enter HTML equals USD to peso, okay? So that is how we're gonna actually get the value of that to show up inside of um, that actual div. So if we go ahead and spin this up in the browser so I can show you guys 
uh, in theory, if we've been doing this correctly, what we should have. So now I should be able to type any number into this input field and it should show up in only pesos and give us some back. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, let's see what we're doing wrong. All right, guys, my bad. I had a brain fart for a second. Uh, just make sure that right here, um, I had USD. Just make sure that says USD amount before you try this out in the browser. And then, um, so since we have the pesos right here, if we go ahead and spin this up uh, in the browser, you guys can see what we should have going on. So right now, whatever amount we type into this input, it should come back in the pesos div and it should just update in real time. So as you can see, if I do 100 US dollars, it's uh, 1,942 pesos. Uh, if we do 50 US dollars, 971 pesos, so on and so forth, 10 US dollars, 194 pesos. So boom. So to go ahead and add the other ones in, guys, we're gonna hop back into Visual Studio, copy and paste that last line twice, and just change the name of the div that we're targeting guys so the the one for euro is called uh euro output for me and the last one is called rupee output and now guys that's literally it if we go over here and we open in a browser uh and we type type this in now we say a hundred dollars in us we should get all three currencies Oh, why are we getting the same amount? Why are we getting the same amount? Oh, ha! Make sure, make sure we change the value over here, guys. I'm goofy. So instead of peso, we want USD to Euro here, and then we want USD to Rupee down here. Now, if you go back to your browser, refresh, $100 USD, and here's the conversion rates, guys. So that is uh, a small JavaScript project, guys, that gave me some reps with just using JavaScript, spin things back out on the screen. If you want to add another, um, if you want to add another currency in, guys, all you gotta do is come over here to Visual Studio, grab one of these divs, grab from the top of the div all the way down to the end of the div, copy, paste, come over to the CSS, and just make sure that. Um, all of these you know fields are applied or whatever css that you need to get it to look right is applied to the div and just add this line go ahead copy and paste this line boom and uh rechange this name right here it's the name of the div uh that you have and change this to the name of the variable you create up here where you just multiply whatever the us dollar amount is by the exchange rate of that currency hope you guys like this man um i'm trying to keep coming out with videos so you know forgive me if i'm a little bit scattered but i'm trying to keep the content interesting hopefully like this was uh if it was though give me a like thumbs up share and subscribe you guys it helps with just motivation to keep making videos and the growth of this channel we're doing good we're just like 30 something subs right now man so um you know i'm trying to get up to 100 and to a thousand and ten thousand and we just keep this thing going you know what i mean so darian this is darian the dev and i'll see you on the next video all right Peace.